Mike Riker. Five zero one six. Mike Riker. Astronaut uh, Dave Liesma, 40 years old, graduated first in his class with a Bachelor of Science in Aeronautical Engineering from the U.S. Naval Academy. Richard Richards, 43 years old, Bachelor of Science in Chemical Engineering. Brewster Shaw, the commander, 44, Bachelor and Master's Degrees in Engineering Mechanics. James Adamson, 43, bachelor's degree in engineering from the U.S. Military Academy at West Point. And finally, Mark Brown, 38 years old, bachelor of science degree in aeronautical and astronautical engineering from Purdue, and a master of science degree in astronautical engineering from the Air Force Institute of Technology. The traditional cake on the breakfast table there with the mission STS-28 logo. Upon completing breakfast, the crew then move to the support room for suit up where they don their flight suits, their pressure suits fitted with their helmets. Their communications equipment was checked. This is uh, an exercise that they also practiced during the terminal countdown demonstration test back in the middle of July. These pressure suits are not the most comfortable items in the world, but uh, they are certainly functional. But the crew does look forward to taking them off after they've reached orbit, and we'll put them on uh, not again until just before the reentry. After the suit up, the crew moved from their astronaut quarters at the operations and checkout building to the Astrovan for the 20 minute ride out to Pad B. Also accompanied there uh, by astronaut Michael Coates, who's been flying the shuttle training aircraft this morning doing weather reconnaissance. It's about an eight mile trip from the astronaut quarters out to pad 39B where the crew boards the orbiter. T-minus 2 minutes 20 seconds. Ground supplies of hydrogen and oxygen for the orbiter fuel cells have been turned off. Columbia is now running on its, in, its onboard reactants. 
The orbiter test conductor has asked pilot Dick Richards to clear the caution and warning memory system. He reports that that clearing is completed and he reported no expected errors. T minus 10, we have go for main engine start. Seven, six, go for main engine start. Four, three, two, one, and lift off. Lift off on Columbia and it's return to flight. This is Mission Control Houston Roll Program initiated. Good roll program confirmed for Columbia. Three main engines up and running. Currently throttling down to 97% and uh, throttling down now to 65% on the three main engines for the passage through maximum dynamic pressure. Altitude 18,000 feet, downrange about one nautical mile. Throttles confirmed by the flight dynamics officer. Columbia has just been given the go at throttle up call by mission control. Altitude 62,000 feet. Downrange about seven nautical miles. Three good APUs, three good fuel cells, three good main engines, current altitude 100,000 feet, downrange 13 nautical miles. Standing by for SRB separation, and we have SRB separation. Downrange 30 nautical miles now, 187,000 feet. Altitude 1,100 feet now, range about one and a half nautical miles. Gear is down and locked on Columbia. Main gear touchdown. And nose gear touchdown for Columbia as she rolls out on runway 17 left at Edwards Air Force Base. The mechanical systems officer in Mission Control reports good braking on Columbia as she rolls to a stop at a mission lapse time of 5 days, 1 hour, 0 minutes, and 56 seconds.